CompTIA A Plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 3.7 Given a Scenario, Install and Replace Printer Consumables. Laser Printer Laser printers are a common printer type found in various environments, ranging from homes to offices and commercial settings. Laser printers are known for their speed, precision, and ability to handle high-volume printing tasks, making them ideal for environments requiring efficient and reliable printing solutions. However, they are generally more complex than inkjet printers due to their internal mechanisms and the print imaging process they employ. To begin, unlike inkjet printers that use liquid ink, laser printers use toner cartridges with fine powder. These cartridges are designed for accurate printing on paper and come in different types to match various printer models and printing needs. Moving on, we have the print imaging process. This process serves as the foundation of laser printing and consists of several stages or phases. These phases include processing, charging, exposing, developing, transferring, fusing, and cleaning. This intricate process involves multiple components working together to produce high-quality prints with exceptional clarity and detail. Now, I will explain this process step by step, so pay attention as CompTIA is known to favor laser printer questions in their A plus core 1 certification exam. First up, processing. The printing process begins with the digital data being loaded into the printer's onboard memory. The data is converted into a format that the printer can interpret and use to create the desired output. It's worth noting that sufficient memory is necessary for this process, as the entire job must be loaded into the printer's memory before printing can begin. This ensures smooth and uninterrupted printing, as the printer has all the necessary data readily available to complete the job efficiently. The next step is charging. In the charging phase, the photosensitive drum or imaging drum gets ready to capture the image you want to print. Picture this. The drum is like a blank canvas waiting to receive a painting. But instead of using paint, it uses something called static electricity. You might have experienced static electricity before, like when you touch a metal object and feel a small shock. In the charging stage, the drum is uniformly charged with static electricity. This prepares the drum, almost like priming a canvas before painting on it. Now, why does the drum need to be charged? Well, this static electricity helps the drum attract and hold onto the image that will be printed. It's like giving the drum a magnetic pull so when the image is exposed onto it later, it sticks in all the right places. After charging, the next step is exposure. In the exposure phase, things get really interesting. Imagine the drum inside the printer, waiting patiently with its static electricity, all charged up from the previous stage. Now, it's time for the real magic to happen. Picture this. A laser beam in the printer acts like a spotlight. This spotlight shines onto the charged photosensitive drum, removing the static charge wherever it shines, creating a kind of secret, invisible image of what you want to print on the surface of the photosensitive drum. Now it is time for the developing phase. In this phase, the electrostatic image created during the exposing phase is transformed into a visible image on the drum. Here's how it works. Once the electrostatic image is formed on the drum, tiny particles of toner, which are positively charged, are attracted to the negatively charged areas of the drum where the image resides. It's like a magnetic attraction. Wherever there's a negative charge on the drum, the positively charged toner particles stick to it, forming the image. In other words, the toner particles fill in the invisible outline created during the exposing phase making the image visible on the drum surface. Moving on, we get to the transfer phase. During this step, the developed toner image on the drum is transitioned onto the paper. As the paper moves past the drum, the toner particles leave the drum and are attracted to the positively charged surface 
of either the transfer belt or the transfer roller. This process is similar to a stamp transferring ink onto paper, except in this case, it involves toner. Now don't think that we're all finished just because we've transferred the toner powder to the paper. To complete the print imaging process, we will need to take an extra step called fixing or fusing to ensure the toner image is firmly bonded to the paper's surface. To achieve this, the paper heads into a part of the printer called the fuser assembly. Inside, it meets a pair of heated rollers. These rollers apply heat and pressure to the paper, effectively melting the toner particles. As they melt, they fuse into the fibers of the paper, creating a permanent bond. Once the paper exits the fuser assembly, the toner image is now firmly fixed onto the paper. This ensures that the printout is durable and won't smudge or smear easily. That is also why the printouts exiting a laser printer are warm to the touch. In the final step of the laser printing process, we reach the cleaning phase. After the toner image has been successfully transferred and fused onto the paper, it's important to ensure that any remaining toner on the photosensitive drum is removed. This helps maintain print quality and prevents contamination in future print jobs. During the cleaning phase, a cleaning blade or brush delicately removes any excess toner from the drum's surface. This ensures that the drum is clean and ready for the next printing cycle. Wow, that is a lot going on for a single printed page. With all those moving parts, heat, and pressure, the need for maintenance is inevitable. To keep your laser printer running smoothly and producing high-quality prints, regular maintenance is essential. Here are some common maintenance tasks you should perform. Replacing the toner. When the toner cartridge runs low or empty, it's time to replace it with a new one. Keeping a spare toner cartridge on hand ensures that you can quickly swap it out when needed, minimizing downtime. Apply a maintenance kit. Periodically, it's recommended to apply a maintenance kit to your laser printer. These kits typically include replacement parts such as fuser assemblies, transfer rollers, cleaning blades, and other wearable components. By replacing these components as part of routine maintenance, you can prolong the life of your printer and maintain print quality. Additionally, some laser printers feature counters that keep track of the number of pages printed to signal when maintenance tasks are due. It's essential to reset these counters after completing maintenance tasks or replacing consumable parts to maintain accurate tracking and scheduling of maintenance activities. And then there is cleaning. Regularly cleaning the printer's exterior and interior components can help remove dust, toner residue, and other debris that can affect print quality and performance. Be sure to follow manufacturer guidelines and use lint-free cloths or swabs dampened with isopropyl alcohol for clean. By performing these maintenance tasks regularly, you can keep your laser printer in optimal condition, minimize downtime, and ensure that it continues to produce high-quality prints. Now that we've examined the major components of a laser printer, including the print imaging process and laser printer maintenance, it's important to understand the calibration process that helps keep these components operating in harmony and with precision. During calibration, the printer's internal sensors and mechanisms are adjusted to compensate for any variations or inconsistencies in print output. The calibration process typically involves printing a test page with alignment patterns or color gradients. The printer then analyzes the test page and makes adjustments as needed to ensure accurate printing. Depending on the printer model, calibrations may be performed automatically or manually through the printer's settings menu. Regular calibration is essential for maintaining print quality and preventing issues. It's recommended to calibrate the printer periodically, especially after replacing toner cartridges or performing maintenance tasks. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.